One of the most common questions, probably half the questions I get is, in my garden, what kind of fertilizers do I use? So I thought I'd do a short one and show you the fertilizers. Now these are fertilizers I actually use, okay? Whenever I'm starting seedlings, I always put green sand in. Uh, whatever the nutrients are in it, it seems to make the seedlings make roots quicker. Works really well. When I'm doing a quick fertilizer for things, there's a variety of these smelly liquids. They usually end up wrapping around from fish emulsion. They're not big numbers, 114, but they do give you a lot of trace elements in with your soil. Uh, when I get serious, I get the fish fertilizer, organic fish emulsion. Uh, some people are saying that's not that good. I don't know why. I've been using it for 40 years. Other than it smells, does a great job. At the end of the year in some of the garden shops, you can get some of the weird fertilizers like bat guano and cricket, cricket crap I think is the brand of it or whatever. Sometimes you can pick them up cheap. Uh, it just gives you some different nutrients. This particular one is a 10-1-1, which is amazing for bat guano. Uh, usually it's more balanced, but sometimes you can pick up a bag for a buck, two bucks. I nearly always add Epsom salts, magnesium sulfate. Uh, I find it's a lot cheaper if you buy it as a, a foot soak in one of the box stores than it is in the garden center. My main go-to fertilizer, if I'm buying it, is Job's makes some. This is Espoma, I guess. They make a million of them. Garden tone, weed tone, tomato tone. They're all pretty much the same. Whatever's got the better price is the one I buy. I try and buy a big bag because just going around and doing some side dressing in the garden right now, I'll use this entire bag. Now, the other thing I'll add, and I didn't pull it out, is azomite. It gives you a lot, all kinds of trace element. The other big item for me, and I'm out of it at the moment, but I'll keep this bucket full of or as full as I can of the earthworm castings. When the earthworms have used up the soil and it's time to refresh them, they'll get fresh peat moss or shredded paper. And the castings, I'll sift the worms out and the castings will go into this bucket. This is like my primo side dressing. Uh, outstanding and being it's June and the garden is in, it's empty of course. Uh, just about time to refresh them again. But these are basically my store-bought type of fertilizers. But now I'm going to move the, move the camera over and show you my main, all-the-time, best fertilizer. The best fertilizer, my main fertilizer in my garden, is compost. This is finished compost, ready to use. This is what I most like to top dress things with. Got all the leftover vegetables, grass clippings, eggshells, uh, strawberry things. Uh, when we have cantaloupe, the cantaloupe goes in here. This is the best stuff. And I can make all the work that we do, I can make four or five of these a year. Fill this up, and it is a lot of compost. It's particularly what I like for side dressing. Just look at this. You can see the eggshells. You know, if you dig through, you'll find all kinds of little things of, of what it was made up of. There's pine straw, grass clippings, uh, bark, whatever we've have is, is uh, not really horrendously germinating weeds. Everything goes in. That's my main top dressing and it's what I'm going to use today to top dress sweet potatoes. So if you're looking for fertilizer, the place to start with fertilizer is make your own. It's free. You can make it in a five gallon bucket, you can make it in a tub, or you can do like we have and have three big pallet stacks of it. All depends on how much you need. 
So pick your fertilizers carefully. You don't have to use the main big time chemical stuff. You can if that's what you choose. I try not to. Thank you for watching. Now I want to show you what I do when I'm going to go around and side dress the garden or I'm planting things and I'm putting the initial fertilizers in. I usually try and start with, with this because I need a lot. So I get a nice bucket and I'll pour a bunch in. Then the Epsom salt. We've had such torrential rain, I know that pretty much everything worthwhile has been washed out. And then I went and dug, you can, the azomite comes in a commercial bag. I got this at a herb festival up in Asheville. They're buying a huge quantity, you know, big giant bags of it and working it down. So, as you can see, it doesn't look like much, but it's all uh, trace minerals, trace elements. It's all things that are not part of your standard fertilizer NPK. And it's what's needed for the bacteria in the soil and the plants. If you want them to be organic and grow naturally, you got to give them more than NPK. you got to have a good, rich soil. And with all our rain, I figure a lot of ours has been washed out. So I've taken a, you know, basically a balanced organic fertilizer, added my magnesium, and then added a bunch of azomite. And then I just mix it up. Mix it. Something an old guy like me can carry around in quantity. It's a few pounds. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And you can just sprinkle this around wherever you need to. It's all I, I, I've never had a problem with it burning anything. And then I'll go around the garden and I'll scoop this out and feed it to everything in sight to give it a little top dressing. And that's how I mix up my fertilizers for the garden. Thank you for watching.